is an amazing young man whose hard work and perseverance has earned him the title Super Kid. Take a look. My name is Tom. I'm a senior at Portland High School. I get straight A's and I'm salutatorian in my class. I'm the president of the civil rights team and I am also on the math team. My favorite subject has always been math and I even scored a perfect 800 on the math section of the SATs. Tom has accomplished all of this in the face of a childhood of abuse, heartache, and loss. When I was about three, my parents split up and I lived with just my mom in a nice small apartment. And then she met uh, the next man in her life, my ex-stepfather. And that from there, everything just went downhill. He had schizophrenia. Um, he often would just have violent outrages and there was a lot of abuse going on. There was a lot of verbal abuse, physical abuse to my mom, to, to me, when my little sister was born, to her. Sometimes I would just sit there in the corner of the room and just be scared. Tom used to cry and ask me why he hit me. Why was he doing these things to me? What did I do to deserve this? Six months into my first grade year, I was removed and taken into state custody. And that's when I was placed in a foster home. It was horrifying seeing that someone taking my baby away. I would think, why am I here? Why does this have to happen to me? I didn't know if I should be mad or if I should be sad or hurt or cry. What should I do? For many years, I fought for my son to come home. Over the years, though, I started to call my foster dad, dad, and my foster mom was mom. They were very nice. They treated me well. It was definitely safe. By the time Tom was 11, his mom had left his stepfather and started putting her life back together. Social workers gave Tom a choice. Be adopted by the family he had lived with for five and a half years, or go back home. I love my family. I don't want to just leave them behind. Glad Tom's here with us to eat. Yeah. Yeah. When I first moved back with my mom, I was leaving a middle class family and I was coming down you know, to basically poverty. Living on welfare because of not being able to get a job. She would have no money at all. Tom works over 35 hours a week at two jobs. I try to help her financially with the kids, you know, buy them some school clothes. Last month, I paid for her oil. She can't afford it, so I need to go get it. Bear hug, harder. <laughs> Love you. Yeah. Out, for the, out for the stove. Tom also helps parent his troubled brothers and sisters. My sister was taken away again, and since then she's lived in a group home for a couple of years upstate. With all the problems at home, Tom never focused on the future. Brandon, no. stop. I never thought about college. But his high school teachers pushed him to try. Teachers said, you are an extremely talented kid, and um, you need to be moved into uh, some high-powered classes. I never had that warm feeling of just someone telling me that I did well, or telling me that I was smart, or telling me things like that. So those compliments made me drive towards getting good grades again. Set my alarm for, you know, 4, 4.30, get up and do a couple hours worth of homework in the morning. He first began to realize that he could, in fact, move to whatever heights he aspired to. If those teachers hadn't pointed out to me that I was capable of doing something, I wouldn't be doing anything. You know, they really made a difference in my life. Tom moved up to second in his class and sent out college applications. His first choice, MIT. I didn't know if I'd get in or not because they deny so many kids that are one of the top schools in the world. MIT accepted him to be the class of 2005. It's like the, the perfect ending to my childhood. I've been told I've had every excuse to fail. I didn't want that. I wanted a better life. How about that? Please welcome super kid Tom Pelletier! <laughs> Brought you a sweatshirt from my school. Excellent, thank you very much. And that cute little graduation toy. Your little can... graduation toy. Now, are you getting excited about graduating? I am. Yeah, are you nervous because you have to make a speech? Somewhat, but I've done a couple already for National Honor Society and at a YMCA breakfast. Excuse me, breakfast, so. That's okay, and what, what do you think you're gonna talk about? Have you planned it yet? Have you written it? Yeah, it's titled uh, The Sky's the Limit. It just talks about, you know, we may feel like this is the end of our high school careers, but it's really just the beginning. The sky's the limit to how much we can still achieve in our lives and you know, how much we can do as young people. Do you have any way to describe your will to succeed or how you were able to overcome such a, a tragic beginning? I always just stayed focused in school. That was the one thing that, that really kept me in it. You know, when high school hit, I realized that I wanted to better myself, my own situation, and school was the only way out. So I how, applied myself. How are your siblings doing now? They're okay. My brother still has some problems. My sister is possibly going to be coming home uh, maybe next school year. Yeah. Uh, but things are slowly working. They're slowly working out. Yeah. Yeah, and what would you say to kids who are in a situation similar to the one you were in? 
just like I said, just stay in school. Stay in First school. First of all, you have to excel in school. Do the best that you can do to your abilities. And do you still see your foster family? Who uh, I do. You yep. do. Yep. Yeah, that I, must have been a very difficult decision for you. It was. It was very difficult. I, I just chose to be with my biological family, though. Yeah. So. And I bet your mom's very happy to have you back. She is, yes. Well, you know, you're an amazing young man. I don't know how you were able to succeed uh, the way that you did. I'm happy that you got into MIT. Cole's department store would like to furnish all the essentials that you'll need for your dorm room when you get there. Well, and I was you. just wondering, um, Thomas, if you enjoy Kellogg's Special K with <laughs> red berries, do you? I've never had that flavor, but I do like Special K, yes. But Special K with red berries is even better because it's got slices <laughs> of strawberries right in the box, Tom. Well, I'll give Delicious it a shot. strawberries mixed with sweet, crunchy flakes. And you know what else? It's fat free, Thomas. Really? Everyone in the audience is getting a box of Kellogg's Special K red berry cereal, and more importantly, they're going to pay your entire tuition to MIT. So there you go, Thomas. If you want to read more about Thomas' story, pick up this issue of Rosie Magazine, where he is featured as our super kid. Up next, come on down with Bob Barker. We'll be right back.